Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and I tend to talk about a lot of obscure films on this channel so I thought I'd put a bit of focus on more modern and mainstream films so this is going to be 15 modern or mainstream horror movies that are awesome so it's not going to be a comprehensive countdown it's just a list of modern films that I had a great time watching and or thought were really well made films. I was just going to do 10 films but there was just a few that I didn't want to leave off the list so this is going to be 15 modern or mainstream horror movies that are awesome. So we'll get straight to it. The first film on the list is 10 Cloverfield Lane. I really enjoyed this film. I love the, the mystery behind this one. So this is about a girl who has a car crash take place after the first Cloverfield uh, incident with a giant monster trashed in the city and she's unconscious and she's taken in by John Goodman who is like a next level prepper type guy that lives down in this bunker and she's a bit crazy you can tell he's you know something's not quite right and she wants to leave but he says she can't leave because these giant creatures are out there and she'll be killed. And a large basis of the film is, is he telling the truth or not? And it's really sort of tense. There's there's a lot of suspense to it. And you don't know if he's telling the truth or if he's just crazy. And things start to happen throughout the film to suggest what's really going on. I had a, a really good time watching this. I was really gripped with the plot. And I'd say even if you don't like Cloverfield definitely check this movie out it's a completely different film and it's done really well and john goodman who plays the prepper guy is amazing in this movie so highly recommend 10 cloverfield lane the next movie is the conjuring 2. i was blown away by how good this film was this for me is easily the best film in the conjuring universe this one takes the real life case of the Enfield haunting it was a very famous uh, haunting in England in the 70s and the uh, the conjuring couple they go in the house to um investigate what's going on and it's just really full on it's really intense it's got lots and lots of scary moments really effective film and it's an example of great storytelling in my opinion it's a really well done film I thoroughly enjoyed conjuring 2 it was i was genuinely genuinely surprised by how good this movie was i thoroughly enjoyed it next movie is crawl so killer crocodile movie i was skeptical as to how good this was going to be but i thought Considering it's a film about giant crocodiles, it was a really well done film. So a hurricane comes in and causes like mass floods and damage uh, to this uh, this sort of town. And this, uh, this girl and her dad are flooded and in their house washes in these giant killer crocodiles. Like I say, I thought this was a really well done film. It's kind of whereas the older kind of creature features were a bit more b-movie-ish this one has a bit more of a plot and a bit more of a family dynamic and characterization going on which carries the plot alongside the killer crocodiles but it didn't focus too heavily on the characters or any kind of unnecessary drama so really good film all around i, I thought I, I highly recommend crawl i hear a lot of other people like that one as well next one is Don't Breathe. This is a home invasion film. Three teenagers decide to rob this blind man's house because they think he'll be an easy target but little do they know he's like ex-secret service or something and he kind of booby traps the house and stalks them and it kind of reverses the home invasion kind of uh, theme. Really good film, very tense, very well done. I really like the characters in this, whether it's like the unlikable teenagers or, or you know, the, the the blind guy who can't quite decide whether you're on his side or not. Really interesting and, and well done film. Highly recommend Don't Breathe. Very effective movie. Next movie is Get Out. 
this one gets gets mixed reviews, but I absolutely love Get Out. I think it is a, a fantastic film. I love the kind of everyone's kind of nicey nicey, but you know something's not quite right in this in this setting um, of of this guy going to meet his girlfriend's family. Really weird, really creepy. Um, this guy in it, I forget his name. He was absolutely fantastic. Uh, there is some kind of commentary on sort of race and things like that if you want to explore that kind of thing. Um, but for me initially, I just think it's a really well-made, tense and mysterious kind of horror film. Um, thoroughly enjoyed Get Out. There's not, not a lot of kind of films that are like this, that, that I've seen anyway. So highly recommend that one. Wasn't super keen on Us. Uh, I know a lot of people like Us, but for me, Get Out was, was the better film. Next up is Halloween 2018. I was sceptical when I heard they were doing this, but I went to the cinema to see it and absolutely loved it. This one has special memories for me because I've seen it on the big screen whilst I was on holiday at the seaside, so that was a really cool uh, experience but the more I watch this film the more and more I enjoy it I love the autumnal Halloween setting anyway thought Michael Myers was really good I love the long panning shots of Michael walking through the neighborhood I really don't like the twist with the doctor but for me this film is good enough that the the good things override that that particular element of the film so highly recommend Halloween 2018 if you've not seen that one yet next movie is hereditary possibly the greatest modern horror film ever made it's up for discussion but certainly a, con a contender absolutely amazing film um hard to even put into words what it's like watching hereditary it's not like your typical horror film there's, there's no jump scares there's no nothing kind of in your face, no real kind of blood and guts, just a constant feeling of dread and fear, a terrifying atmosphere, and then towards the end things start to get ramped up a bit, and it, there are scenes in it that truly un unnerve me and disturb me. Such an effective film, I I, I can't do it justice. It, it is, it, it has to be seen and experienced. It's quite subtle. I imagine some people might watch it and maybe not get it or maybe not uh, not appreciate the the kind of hidden messages and meanings behind the film and I know I've watched it a couple of times and have still missed things but incredible film like I say possibly the best modern horror film ever made next up a film that I've just recently watched The Invisible Man I really enjoyed this film. I was very impressed with how good it was. I loved the story that they told. Uh, this kind of woman escaping uh, an abusive relationship. Um, and the uh, her ex-partner is the Invisible Man. So he torments her once the relationship's ended. Really good film. Felt very sorry for this character in it as well. It's a very effective performance by this uh, this leading lady. And I liked that... Although you could call it a remake from the 1930s film, it, it was very different from that film in, in every kind of way. Obviously in terms of effects and things like that, but just in terms of the uh, the, the, the culture of this film and and the the way the characters were and the, just a really good modern take on that, on that old story. Really enjoyed Invisible Man. I hear a lot of good things about that film. Next up is oculus this is one that I, I had a really good time watching it's about this kind of like haunted mirror if i remember right there's like spirits or something in this mirror which are haunting these two teenagers been a while since i've watched it but i just remember thinking this was a really good really well made film wouldn't mind watching it again actually next up is overlord uh, part war film, part horror movie. So this is about these uh, troopers that, uh, these American soldiers that discover this, um, if I remember right, it's like a German bunker which they want to take control of uh, in order to uh, 
gain advantage in, advantage in the war but there are these experiments going on in the bunker which are creating these like zombie creatures so a really good blend of, of action war and, and horror I had a great time watching uh, Overlord it's got some really good sort of action scenes and things like that and also some great uh, horror elements towards the end it also stars Kurt Russell's son who is really cool in it he really did remind me of Kurt Russell, so it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun watching him. Next movie is Ready or Not. I went to the cinema to see this one and had such a good time watching it. I thought this was an excellent film. This is about this woman who marries into a really rich family, and every now and again they have to play this game to kind of appease this kind of devil character. And the game is like a murderous game of hide and seek, which unfortunately for her, uh, it, it, it falls during her time coming into the family. So she uh, she has to kind of get away from these uh, these rich murderous family members in this giant mansion. Really good film. I really enjoyed it. This leading lady is fantastic. She uh, she's she's really tough. She uh, you're really rooting for her, and she's very very witty as well. It's some really kind of light-hearted funny moments in this film amongst all like the the murder and death so if you've not seen this one i highly recommend ready or not it's uh it does have its kind of uh kind of violent and bloody moments but it's kind of just more of a fun sort of uh, horror movie really cool film next up is train to busan so I heard a lot about this film before I actually watched it and I heard people saying it's like the greatest zombie film ever made and I have to say it's certainly a, con a contender for the best zombie film ever made. It is an unbelievably good film, really kind of fast paced, high octane action in it. Uh, it all takes place on a train which is a really effective setting, it's kind of all claustrophobic. Uh, everyone's packed in, but at the same time, it's kind of moving along really fast, so the film feels like it's fast-paced and energetic. The zombies look uh, fantastic in it. The characters were great. It has a really kind of um, uh, heartfelt ending as well. I didn't see the ending coming. kind of knocked me a little bit as well. So if, if you've not seen Train to Busan, like I say, it took me a while to get around to seeing this. If you've not seen Train to Busan, definitely check it out. It is a an amazing zombie film next up this is a film i don't know if this is for everyone but i really liked it this is unfriended so this is a bit like a variation on the found footage type genre but it takes place over people's computer screen so i don't know what other people think about that i really liked it i thought it was quite innovative and different it's this bunch of friends who are communicating over social media and they are stalked by uh, this ghost, this entity of somebody who, who who died. They're in their past, but they died. And they're looking for revenge. Uh, I'm not big on social media at all. I'm not on like Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. So I don't, I'm not familiar with that platform. But I was able to follow this film and uh, really got into it. And uh, I thought it was... Uh, Quite interesting because I'm not I'm not familiar with that sort of social media aspect, but also really creepy as well. I didn't really know where the film was going to go, so yeah, one that divides people because it's kind of it can be a bit of a difficult film to watch in terms of looking at someone's computer screen. But I really liked that kind of idea, and I thought the film itself played out really well. So it is one that I'd recommend. Next movie is The Witch. And I love this movie. I love that they went for like the real sort of oldie fashioned like ye old England setting with this one. And it even features like old fashioned language and dialogue. I thought that was quite a brave move, but it really adds to the film. It's a very, very creepy movie and all that kind of old fashionedness and uh, the rural bleak setting kind of adds to it. Um, I need to see this one again because there's, again, this is like quite a subtle one 
uh, there's things going on which you might miss uh, and I'd, I'd like to revisit this one just to take it in again and, and remind myself what goes on but I the, the main thing I remember of this one is like the atmosphere that it creates and that really creepy sort of old-fashioned gothic feel uh, really interesting film I highly recommend The Witch and the last movie on this list another kind of home invasion one is Your Next a bit similar to uh, Don't Breathe, just kind of really sort of action-packed uh, and kind of fun, tense film. Uh, this kind of quite wealthy family are having a big dinner party and they are attacked and killed off one by one by these outside intruders. Although as the film progresses, you things kind of change a little bit and there's a few twists. But really good film, it keeps you on your toes, there's some inventive death in this movie and another one that I just had a, a really great time watching. So that's it guys, that's 15 modern and mainstream movies that I thought were really good or really well made and had a great time watching. So hopefully you might get some recommendations from this video. Let me know what you think of those selections and let me know if there's any more modern movies that uh, that you think I should check out. I'd definitely be interested to, to see them if I've not done so already. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.